Hi friend, in this tutorial I am going to discuss you how to install Magento. Before that you need to download Magento from the its official website. Ok. Uh, for that uh, you download Magento at first you need to find that you need to type download Magento in Google and you get uh, one link that is uh, this type of link ok magento commerce dot com slash download and click on this link ok and there is a different uh, magento uh, packaging is there that is full release with zip with no sample data second one is zip with sample data I am going for zip with sim no sample data and I am selecting Magento Community Edition this one 32.73 ok and when I am going to click on download it is going to ask me to log in with Magento username and password ok uh, if you have not created your account then uh, click on create an account and fill up all the information that is uh, required to create the account ok after creating account again you then you log in with that username and password and click on login and download Wha once you are inside the magento then it, it is going to automatically automatically download in your system ok and once it is download ok once it, it is download uh, next thing is that to you need to extract this magento file ok you need to extract this magento file in your server ok ok this one is my uh, downloaded file now it is time to extract this file ok ok uh, once it is successfully extracted you need to select the folder double click on the folder and you find there is a lot of file and lot of folder ok what you need to do is to select con press control A means you need to select all the files ok and copy all these files and I have because I have installed jam ok so we have to place this file in stdocs under the stdocs folder I am going to create here one folder that folder is shopping and paste it it takes some time ok after successfully placing all the file within the source shopping folder ok uh, it is now time to uh, install ok time to install magento in your system ok for that open your browser ok and in url local host slash ok you find this page ok landing page agree, agree with the terms and condition ok 
click on next okay there is some issue okay at first you need to resolve this issue and uh, before uh, proceeding for the step 3 okay uh, to resolve this issue we have to open php.ini file okay open your jam control panel okay and from config option config button okay you find there is a php.ini file now it is time to uh, remove first error that is php setting check here it is specify open your php ini file and set always populate underscore row this two minus one okay i am going to search this much okay in php dot ini file minus one if For the second issue, that is PHP ex extensor extension intl. For this, you need to you need to find you need to search this line. Okay. In PHP ini file. for that I am here going to use going to paste this line okay page where save this file and restart save this file and restart jam server stop it stop it okay start start my SQL server now it is time to click on try again Okay, again it is showing the p that is PHP extension ENT. Okay, for now I have to I'm just I'm removing this line which I have added earlier. Okay, and I'm going to search very specific that it is PHP and DLL. Copy this and press control F and paste it and search for this okay it is here uncomment this line okay and save this file and restart your XAMPP server I have already stopped okay and 
next thing is to click on try again hope for best okay fine fine okay completed i have successfully validated all the things now next is to click on the next button here you are going to specify database server host name username and password okay uh, server host is because you are installing it in your system so uh, here local host is very okay database server mysql database server by default when you are installing mysql and uh, default username is root password is blank okay and database name is magento okay i am changing it to the magento 21 table prefix best to specify table prefix okay mg click on next does not exist on the server does not have previous to access the database okay you need to create this database on the database server okay at first for that i am just here in url going to open php my admin php my admin form here at first i need to create database okay database magento 21 click on create button okay next thing is that i have already created magento 21 okay database in database server now it is time to again check click on the next button fine now in the fourth step you are going to ask that your store address it is very fine localhost slash shopping and next is that imagine to admin address okay i am going to change this as a imagine to localhost slash shopping slash admin okay in advance option option key keep it as it now next is that to click on next okay click on next and select uh, default time zone Indian specific Indian standard time Indian rupees INR 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 Indian rupees INR and default language English ok now click on again next button username that is admin username okay for that uh, admin specify kamlish k a m a next thing is the password okay password p a double s twenty a one at the rate exclamation mark w capital W capital O capital R capital D okay P A double S 21 at the rate exclamation mark capital W capital O capital R capital D okay click on next 
now it is time to click on install okay install now wait for some time so we have successfully installed okay now it is time to login in admin panel this is our shopping site 